Yeah, from the look of things, they're not finished with this Super Bowl ritual. We start with breaking news from the United States. Police in Kansas City say several people have been injured after shots were fired during the Super Bowl victory parade. Thousands of fans of the winning team, the Kansas City Chiefs, were out celebrating their success when the incident occurred. Police have been moving people to safety and emergency services are at the scene. Let's cross straight to our correspondent in Washington, D.C., Benjamin Alvarez Gruber. Benjamin, what are the police saying? Police posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, that there were shots that they were fired close to Union Station as this parade it was over. A warm day in Kansas, a lot of people on the streets celebrating the Kansas chief who just won the Super Bowl. There were also some schools that canceled class, so there were many families out there celebrating and cheering for their team. The information the police published uh, was that uh, two armed people are in custody for further uh, investigations as the investigations are ongoing. What we heard from the fire department is that at least uh, 10 people were wounded. They asked uh, for people who were there for fans to clear the area. So from the images that we're getting uh, from cancer, the aerial footage too is that the area around Union Station has been cleared off. They ask everyone to stay away for the treatment of the shooting victims. We know that some of them have been taken to the hospital. We don't know how serious uh, their wounds are, but what we get from uh, police and what they've been tweeting out is first asking everyone to leave the area as quickly as possible, also saying that there is a special site for reunification where families, where fathers and mothers can meet uh, their children if they lost them in the chaos as many started uh, running away uh, from the parade. And now we're waiting for further information of this investigation. And do we know anything at all about the two people uh, who have been arrested? Anything at all about their motives? Investigators are really cautious and we'll have to wait to have more information. But there is, of course, a fear that this might be politically motivated. We're still waiting <laughs> from law enforcement, also yeah. uh, from yeah, right. um, officials in the city there to see exactly what the motives were. There's been a lot of discussions recently, so it's not something that has been ruled out. But authorities, of course, are very cautious um, to say or to even go into a certain direction. What we know now and what police has also been saying is uh, that uh, people should uh, leave the area that this this place reunifications where people can now meet we expect to have some updates there as uh, soon there's probably also be a press conference as long as we have more information not only on the two suspects uh, that were detained but also if they have more information on their motives if they're mad if this is planned at all this happened after uh, the parade to see if it was tied uh, to that and to actually figure out and get us more information so we'll keep store um, updating uh, this story with more information from law enforcement as soon so as we you know the devil's up to it you know he's up to his trick so we don't know what this is going to uh lead to but they uh they up to something it's not like a winky dink that they undid this right after the super bowl now you got this shooting one dead 10 injured this is matthews 24 and 13 those spells they cast now is working but this could be a sign to something bigger this could be a signal right now Matthews 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right? Matthews 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Sin will be rampant everywhere. And the love of many will grow cold. So those demons that they casting out right now, you know, it's working. As they plotting, they got their schemes. So you're going to hear more events like this. But this is bigger than what meets the eye. You know, we we we, we watching. But nah, that's not a, a coincidence. After everything that they did at the Super Bowl, they even showed the, the UFOs. You know, about four times in their commercials. Yeah, they about to, they ramping up for something real, real big. 
giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKodash, double honor to the elders of the great millstone who taught me these truths. Shalom.